Hello everybody, Ian Robson, and welcome back to another episode of County Line. As I mentioned in the previous episode, we're going to go ahead and continue harvesting our canola. And as you can probably see as well, I have done a large chunk of it already, as you can see. There's a little bit in the... Is it, this I think one of the corners that we have a little bit left still, so... Not all of it, but a little bit so far, so... Um, I have the overloader currently running back and forth, and I have the truck currently running back and forth as well, both on course bay, and I'm just doing the harvesting myself, so. Actually, let's adjust this a little bit. Let's go there. There we go. It's a bit more efficient rather than leaving a huge chunk. A number of times I've done that too. I don't know. Sometimes it's always about squaring off the edge of the field. I know some people do that, some people don't. It depends. I know Donald's like that too. Like he'll uh, he'll square off a car part of the field, and you go back to GPS. Uh, but sometimes that means like taking a little tiny chunk of uh, the field, as opposed to like a good large chunk of it. But you know, we've all done that before. So, say la vie. So I still haven't picked up the USA Seasons. Uh, because I mentioned, as I mentioned last time, I'm gonna wait until I finish harvesting the rest of this stuff, uh, the rest of this, uh, these crops, I should say, because uh, I think we have, uh, what do we have? Eight, ten, and thirty-three still to go. So we still have a few crops to go yet, and uh, once we get all those in, then I'll probably progress to winter and then put install the seasons because it might restart from the spring. I don't know yet. Uh, that's what I'm kind of concerned about, so I don't want to have to go through the whole whole season all over again just to get that all working together properly, so. Is the pipe out there? Can I see the pipe in this one? I think so. Yep, there it is. Couldn't remember if I could see the pipe, because you know, some, some, some of the combines you can actually see the pipe like that, and some combines you can't. Uh, so it's kind of strange, actually. Let's go ahead and request a driver. Cause he'll take us time to get down here, or up here, I should say, because he's dealt bottom, in the bottom left hand corner down there. He'll make his way eventually. Nice. So I think we have, I think all of that side's done. All of this side is almost done. I think there's a little bit in the bottom uh, of the corners that need to be done yet, so. Just a little bit though, not too, too much. So, uh, like I mentioned in the previous episode, we do have uh, some grass fields that can be harvested as well. So I might get our mower started on that as well uh, soon here. There we go. Make the turn here. Lower that back down. Nice. There we go. Like I said, it's only a small little section we have here. I think we have like maybe three, two, three passes. That's about it. So it's nothing too, too crazy. Now the funny thing I don't understand sometimes is that what the course bike driver will do is like he's actually going to be. It looks like he's driving straight towards me right now. I don't know why. I don't know. He's good. Sometimes the course bike will drive straight towards you, like in the middle of the field, and that doesn't quite make sense to me, but. Yeah, this is a hard worker. Probably would stop. There we go. It's gonna do a little U-turn now. Excellent. Nice. So, like I said, after this field's done, we'll be able to put a little bit of fertilizer down, and uh, then that'll be this field done, basically. Now, unless we're gonna plant something else, we could. Well. We'll see. Maybe I shouldn't fertilize it. I'm just not sure how it's going to work when you install the seasons. So here's a question for you. If you have installed the you know, US seasons, um, does it reset your map this spring with no crops planted? Let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of curious about that. As I mentioned, that's one of the reasons why I've been um, reluctant to change over, at least right, as of right now. That's the reason why I haven't changed over. Maybe in the future, it, well, maybe if I if, if I find out it's like it's not a problem, and you basically just switch and then boom, it's done. That's it. Then um, I'll probably just do it. But 
if it resets things, then of course I'll have to wait a little bit. It's to be expected, basically. Now, I'm not sure how this guy is working here. So I've actually recorded this course a couple times now, just to see. This one, the overloading course, isn't the problem. It's the the truck course. It's trying to find the right combination because the truck keeps stopping at the end point right here, as opposed to because usually it's, it's supposed to stop here, but I don't know. Apparently, it it should it's supposed to recognize that it's uh. It's supposed to recognize that it's at not at a, at a silo, so. Oh, it it stops right there, so I don't know. I don't know if I should record a course based on this or based on that. That's what I'm kind of concerned, confused about. Because they, I guess they ch it seems like they changed it a little bit. So if I hop into the truck now, not that truck, this truck, the one I was already in, I set him to drive on his way, and I set him to drive on his way, and then he, will, who most likely, will go back to that end point again. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that for a quick second here, and just see how that works out. So I don't know. Strange, strange things. So almost done this little section here. I got. Looks like we have about one pass left, and we're done. We're done this section. Looks like we have uh, the bottom section down here as well to do. And maybe I think there's something over here too. I'm sure. Just based on what I remember, at least. So what I'm going to do is going to finish off this pass here, and then I'm going to. Um, hop into the mower and then start the mower up, I think. For whichever field, it doesn't matter which one's which. And we also check the weather. Uh, no, it's not the right button I was looking for. There we go. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. We have sun today, tomorrow, rain, rain. So if I wanted to make some hay, I would be in. I would be in a bad place. But luckily, we want to make. I'm just going to bail up the bales and make silage bales out of them, I think. Because we have lots of hay still. And apparently, I don't know if this is true or not, but someone said, someone left a comment saying, normally you would sell the old hay. Um, me, I don't know. Maybe you would. Maybe if you had. Um, if you didn't have cattle, you would. But as far as I understand, you probably would feed it, feed your cows the old hay until it's done, and then you have the new hay for the next for the next winter, basically. But as far as I can remember, we have lots and lots of hay, and straw still. There you go. It's funny. Sometimes you only need a little, little tiny bit of of canola or wheat or whatever, and you drop the chaff down, and it'll spread like as if there's like a full. As if you're doing like a full pass, it's kind of funny. It's so like I, I can take like a little tiny tiny corner like right here, and they would the chaff would come out the whole back of the combine. So if you are really sneaky, you can probably use that as a way of cleaning up any spots you may have missed with the chaff at least. All right, last pass on this side here. And what I'll do is I'll hire work on the other side there. There's a little tiny bit left. Are we gonna get it all? Looks like we're gonna get this all. This is gonna be awesome. Ah, just as I say that. A little tiny strip here. Look at this. Can't believe that. Can't believe it's a little tiny strip. I'm using the uh, I'm using the header to the best of my abilities right now. I can't get. It, I can't make it any larger here. Sometimes you can kind of like move it over just a smidgen and then that's just enough to get that little tiny bits like that but I'm just gonna leave it and come back to it all right there's our obler once again doing his job it's fun when you get it all set up and you like to harvest yourself having course by run itself is like a lot of fun just because then you can you know just focus on harvesting which is one of my favorite activities what's one of your favorite activities in farm sim Raise that up here. Oh, that was raised. All right, there we go. It doesn't matter as long as I get all of it. 
There we go. Nice. All right, like I said, I'm gonna let the worker do that last little bit there, and then I'm gonna grab the mower, which I think is at the cow farm here. There we go. And we'll just do a quick little check of our stores here, see what our our hay and straw is like. I'm pretty sure it's fine though, if memory serves. I don't think there's a big problem here. Yeah. Easy cat, just sit in the middle of the road there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're okay. We still have a lot of hay. <laughs> and a lot of straw, so that's not a problem. Uh, we are, we don't have any corn at the moment. Or we don't have any grass, so. Maybe what we can do is we can, uh, Grab a little bit of grass for our cows just to make them as efficient as possible right now. And then uh, go from there, I think, maybe. So we'll do a little bit of mowing and then we'll come around with the baler, I guess. And do a little bit of baling over here. Oh, we still have a stack of uh, silage bales over there, too. Sweet. So I think what I said, like, as I mentioned last time, um, just due to the way. section over here. Just due to the way the uh, the square bale, the, the specific square bale I have right now, just due to the way it works, I'm probably going to switch out to the round bales, uh, to the coon baler, just because the way it works is so much more efficient. I don't know where, I'm just going to do a little, a little circuit here. Probably don't need a whole lot of grass to be honest with you. We can't store a lot of grass. This is one of the weird things. Like a lot of people have asked, asked me about this lately, and like, can you store grass? Like, no, absolutely not in this game. Uh, well, you can store grass with some modded stuff, but what will happen is, is that it'll just, you won't be able to feed your cows grass in the winter. Like in the summer, it'll be fine, but in the winter, you won't be able to, which is when you want to feed them. All right, there we go. So. That's the weird thing about that. But if you bail up grass, it'll disappear after a couple days. So I'm just going to bail up this little tiny bit here. And i um, going to give it to our cows. Just because they need a little bit of uh, a little bit of grass. It'll improve their productivity a little bit. This is one of the weirdest, weird, one of the stranger parts I find of, uh, of the Seasons mod right now. But with, with the addition of corn, it's not a problem, so... There we go. Excellent. Hopefully that's like one or two bales. It should be. I would imagine at least. At least one or two. Alright, so we'll pull this off over to the side here. There we go. Stick it over here. And then let's grab, not the Oliver, but the John Deere should be fine. Got a Mass Ferguson Baylor here. So we only need 80 horsepower for this Baylor, which I still think is kind of funny, actually. Now, one of the interesting facts is some people said that with a Coon Baylor, they didn't have the problem of the bales going all over the place. I think it was Spud actually. Um, Spud was mentioning that he didn't uh, he didn't have that problem with the bales going all over the place for him. Uh, and like I said, it might, might have been because he was using the Coon Baylor, I think he was saying so. But with this Master Ferguson Baylor, for whatever reason, like, it just wants to go all over the place. It's crazy. Alright, let's get a couple of these bales done up here. Apparently the birds are making a crazy noise outside. Alright. Just bail up this little section. If we get, like, you know, one or two bales, that's basically all we really need. Maybe three or four. We don't need a whole lot. We just want enough to keep our cows going for a couple days until we get corn. Because I imagine corn will be ready soon. We check the weather. Let's see. Corn. Yeah, you could harvest it right now. It just depends on how early you... No, wait. Yeah, that's right. No. Soon. 
soon. Even the next couple days, the corn will be ready. But we might run into the problem where the corn is ready, but the weather is not cooperating. So, hopefully we don't run into that, because that would be kind of bad. Did we drop that bale? Not yet. Like I said, we just want a couple bales here. Nothing too crazy. So I'll definitely keep the uh, square barrel system. Um, I'll definitely keep the square barrel system for hay, but I probably will use the uh, the coon baling system for uh, silage bales, just because I find it seems to be more efficient. But with the way I play, there we go. We might need to do a little bit more grass, actually. I think we've only dropped one bale. If I had to guess. Yeah, there's the one. There we go. We might get two out of this, actually. Let's see here. Yeah, we get, should get two, at the very least. Actually, we'll get three because we'll drop the other one. That would be perfect, actually. Alright, can we get that last little bit here? There's that. And I think there was a little bit up here, too, that we missed. I think. Nope, looks like we didn't. Alright, so there's three. There we go. Put that away for the time being. Excellent. Let's come around with a front loader, give our cows a little bit of grass. And we'll see where we are from there. I do like this tractor. It was Ross who made this memory serves, and I think he made another 7800. But it was the same horsepower, so that's the reason why I never got it. Just because it was kind of basically like same horsepower area, so it wasn't really necessary for me to get. Uh, Alright. Let's put this in the last bay here. There you go. Hook this back up to the TMR mixer real quick. There we go. And perfect. Let's grab this guy. And let's give our cows some of this. Uh, we want this right here. We'll grab these three bales here and we'll give it to our cows. Like I said, the, the annoying part about the Seasons mod is that if you uh, if you bale up grass like I just did there, it will just disappear. After two days at least. Which is a bit of a shame, really. Alright, so... Let's grab this guy over here. one. What I'm going to do is going to bump this right here. Oh really that came off? I'm not surprised. Alright, don't bump it. I was trying to straighten it out but apparently it doesn't want me to do that. Alright. Let's put this one on top of that one. And then we'll grab these two. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get the third one, but we'll try. In reality, this tractor couldn't handle two of these bales, let alone three, but... 
in also reality, they're supposed to be small squares, not big squares, so go figure, eh? Let's see. There we go. Let's grab all three now. There we go. That's one of the advantages of having this extended uh, bale fork because then you can just do what I just did there relatively easily at least like technically you could probably uh, use the quadro and then just pick up the bales like that after but that would probably work fairly well as well all right let's grab this guy here and we'll give these to their cows, and then I think that'll be the last order of business for me today. I'm trying not to drive too crazy right now, so I don't want to go ha have to pick up these bales all over again. There we go. Give these to our cows, and that should be good for them for the next couple days at least. Let's see. Oh, only needed two. Okay. Let's grab that bale there. Just going to leave it there for the time being. And, like I said, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Give our cows a little bit of uh, grass there. And now they should be okay for grass, I think. Yeah, we'll be good for the next couple days at least. So, anyways, folks, my name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed the episode of County Line. And if you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more County Line. Catch you guys later.